In this presentation, we will continue learning how to use Rapid, the programming language defined by, by ABB uh, for programming their robots. Specifically, in this presentation, I will focus on composite data types. This video is part of a mini tutorial on how to program in Rapid. Therefore, the aim of this presentation is to introduce the main composite data types used in Rapid that allow defining working conditions and configurations for robot movement instructions. Specifically, I would like uh, to show uh, data that allow you to define a position, an orientation, and a posture, as well as different robot configurations and sold and data uh, uh, or speed data uh, configurations. We will also see how to define the robot tool and how to define joint and robot targets in the end. Composite data allow us to handle information in an organized way with a single variable composed of more data with the same or different data types. It is very similar to a struct in C in the sense that it contains fields one or each one with a different data type and name. To access to a field of a composite, composite data type, we will use the dot operation. In the example, the data type C type underscore 2 has two numerical fields with names name1 and name2. Therefore, we can access to the fields of this composite data type bar day names or we can assign the values with a list of values, using in this case square brackets, separated by commas. In the case that uh, a composite data type contains another composite data type, then we can nest the, the square uh, brackets to perform the assignment. In Rapid, we have a set of predefined composite data types that will allow us to define the required information for motion instructions. In the next slides, we will see the most relevant ones. To define a reference system, we can do that using the data type pose. The position of the reference frame is defined with the data type pose, which includes three fields x, y, and z, with the values of the Cartesian coordinates of the origin of the reference frame. And the orientation uh, it can be specified with a field ORIENT, which is uh, indeed a quaternion with numerical fields Q1 to Q4. The POSE data type is a type containing the POSE and ORIENT data types, as I said, but their names or the field names are TRANS and ROT respectively, so don't be confused here. Here, I show you an example of how to initialize and assign values for this type of data. To reach a position, the robot can reach that position with different configurations, mainly affecting to joints 1, 4 and 6 of the robot. Rapid allows defining different robot configurations with four numerical values in the conf data structure three that define the quadrants of the joints that I have previously mentioned and that they can take a positive or negative value between 0 and 3 for the positive quadrants from 0 to 90 degrees, from 90 degrees to 180 degrees and so on. And minus 4 to minus 1 for the negative quadrants. That means from 0 to minus 90 degrees and from minus 90 degrees to minus 180 degrees and so on. As you may guess, there might be ambiguous values, that is, the number 4 and minus 4 represent actually the same quadrant and number. Number 3 and minus 3 also the same. In addition, uh, conf data also includes a fourth value, CF, uh, in this case CFGX, that allows defining the robot configuration with a number from 0 to 7. Here, I show the eight possible configurations for an IRB 140, degree, uh, 140 robot. As I have mentioned before, values CFG1, CFG4 and CFG6 
of a confat are represented quadrants of joints. Here we see a figure taken from ABB's reference manual showing these quadrants. However, uh, this is true for revolute joints because the meaning of those values uh, for prismatic joints is a different thing. They actually represent regions in meters of possible joint values. Anyway, the meaning of all these values is highly dependent on the robot we use, so we recommend to see its reference manual to understand in detail all possible configurations. You can also learn quite a bit uh, using in this case Robot Studio software because in there you can modify the robot configuration within the list of all possible configurations for a given target. The points of uh, the trajectory of a robot can be stopping points or non-stopping points also known as flyby points. In stopping points the robot will stop at the end of or when reaching that point while in flyby points the robot will maintain an intermediate speed between the two movement instructions and the tool center point will not pass through the actual program point. In this case we can define a zone data to determine the accuracy in which the robot must pass near the program point. Actually two zones are defined, one to define the position of the tool center point and the other one to define the orientation of the tool center point or the tool if necessary. In the figure on the right uh, we can see how uh, the size of the second area affects to uh, define the region in which the tool begins to change the orientation. Therefore, to define the accuracy of points uh, in a trajectory we will use the type to type zone data that allow us to define if the point is a stopping point or a flyby point and also the size of the previous mentioned regions. In that uh, data structure uh, this it contains a boolean variable to define whether if it's a stopping point or a flyby point and also six numerical uh, variables that define the size of the zone. So please refer to the technical reference manual for details because the recommended values are indeed uh, or the, 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 the values recommended to, to be used uh, depend on the, the tool to use and uh, on your application. But anyway we can use some predefined variables. For instance, the defined variable is used to define a stopping point while predefined variables uh, Z0, Z5 and Z200 among others will allow you to intuitively define the size of flyby points with different size of zones. A speed data includes four values. The first for defining the speed of the tool center point in millimeters per second. The second for uh, the speed of the orientation of the tool center um, point in degrees per second. While the third and the fourth values are used to define the values of speeds of linear and rotational um, external joints. Rapid includes a set of predefined speeds that we'll, uh, we will use to define uh, the necessary uh, speed tool. The table below shows the name of some of the predefined speed values and their corresponding linear uh, velocity in the tool center point. There are many other predefined values so I have not included here in this table. So if you want to learn more about that, please access to the reference manual. Defining a, a tool is essential for correct robot operation, otherwise inaccuracies, speed limitations and um, some overshoots may, uh, may be incurred. The tool has its own coordinate system, which is the one that we will usually use to define the positions that we want to, the tool to reach at the tip of the tool. Typically, this coordinate system is defined with respect to the reference frame of the robot flange. In addition, we must take into account also the tool weight, its center of gravity and the values of its inertia movements in X, Y and Z axis. Actually, the tool is defined with the data type tool data that has a variable to indicate whether the tool is being used or not. 
a position to indicate a reference frame of the tool tip or TCP and also the load data uh, of the tool which is uh, a type of type data load data which includes parameters such as mass, position and orientation of the center mass and the inertia. In the figure I show the coordinate frame of the tool as well as the center of gravity and uh, the axis of the inertia. The data type rub joint is used to define joint target values. It's a composite type with six numerical elements with names RAX underscore 1 to RRX underscore 6. This comes from robot axis. Similarly, uh, it has up to six other elements used to define external robot uh, joints, uh, in this case with the X joint data type. Uh, which is uh, similar to the previous one but with names EAX underscore A up to EAX underscore F. If a robot has no external axis, this can be indicated using just simply the value 9 to the times uh, of 9, so e, uh, 9E9. Finally, a joint target is a composite type that includes the rob joint and the X joint data. With the names, in this case, the names of the fields are Rob AX and X AX. Here we can see an example in which a calibration joint position is defined. As you can see in this example, there's a first external joint too. And finally, we will explain one of the most used data types. Is this is Rob Target? It's a composite type to define the position and orientation of a reference frame, as well as to indicate a specific robot configuration to be used and the values for the external joints. Here uh, we see how to set a target position, uh, in this case defined with a negative uh, 20 millimeters from the set axis and also with a 90 degrees rotation in the Z axis around the Z axis that corresponds to the quaternion in this case 0 0.7, 0, 0, 0.7. This selected configuration is 0, 0, 0, 0, and in this case has no external joints. This position is relative to another reference frame, in this case indicated by the name W object, which means working object. This is something we will see when defining the motion instructions. Well, in this presentation I have introduced common composite data types used in RAPID. In the next video, we will see how to use them to define the movement instructions of a robot. Thank you very much.